Beastman World Cup number eight for men's skeleton. We're at Königsee in Bavaria and on a snowy day going into the second heat of the European Championships, Frank Rommel of Germany looking for salvation. The German bobsledders had slumped, the German women's skeleton athletes had slumped. Could Rommel put himself onto the European Championship podium? Well, with a new track record, he mined speed at the bottom of the track where nobody else had found it. Thrilled with a run that put him in the lead with three to go. Inevitably, of course, those three contained two Ducours brothers. Thomas lay in third after the first heat. Another stunning slide from the older of the pair. Another track record to take the lead from Rommel, last year's silver medalist. Two to go, and perhaps a big story in the offing for the USA's Matt Antoine. After two podium finishes already in the season, could he crown it with his best career result and hang on to the silver medal? Wavy in the Chrysler, mistakes below, and he slipped to third place and out of the medals. A disappointment for one long, lean athlete, an opportunity for another to have a great day in the sun. The yellow vest of the World Cup leader weighs easily on Martin Stukor's shoulders. What he described as a near perfect second run just crushed the track record by nearly half a second as he claimed victory in the World Cup. The World Cup season crown, the European Championship and the FIBT Triple Trophy, 100,000 euro the prize. Look at the margin of victory. Martin and Thomas won two for the fourth time this year ahead of Frank Rommel. And the 100,000 check will take the whole team on a holiday. That was the European Championship podium as well. Kristen Bromley fifth after being 16th in the first heat with a stunning slide. And Martin Stukors once again our World Cup champion. Just one more target remains this season. Gold in Sochi.